Ferguson Learn to Catch Catfish.com, and this is just a quick walkthrough of the Navionics PC application that comes with the uh, Hot Maps Platinum card. You get free access to the Navionics PC application through the uh, Hot Maps Platinum, and I also believe that you can get the uh, Navionics PC app as a standalone as well. I'm just going to walk you through real quick and show you. Uh, kind of what this software does. And the first thing this is doing is just give me a pop-up message here telling me that there's new data available for my charts that I run on my Hummingbird 1198C. So if I wanted to, I could uh, hit yes here. I could download that new data to my SD card and uh, put that in my Hummingbird so I would have the, the latest and greatest information in there. But I'm going to skip that for now. So what this is giving me here is I have all of these charts downloaded onto my computer. You can see I've got a huge area here uh, with all the charts on them and I'm going to zoom in here to Texas and go over here. We're going to look at Lake Louisville. So I'm just going to continue to uh, to zoom in here and get a little bit closer and as you can see the further in I get then the more detail I begin to pick up on these maps. I'm showing the contour lines here, starting to see depths in the water, starting to see some marker buoys and some icons here on this map. So this gives me the ability from a computer if I am looking at fishing a new water or maybe scouting out some new locations I might want to go look at on a lake that I already fish then I have the ability of sitting here from the comfort of my computer and going in and looking at this data and you can see uh, just amazing detail here of the topography of the lake that this is picking up. So I'm going to do is zoom back out here take a look and I'm going to go in and show you just a few of the features and the things that you can do here with the Navionics PC application. So I can go in here and click anywhere on this map and it's going to pop up a little box. It's going to tell me the latitude and longitude location. And then if I click here on this little icon, it's going to pull up and it's going to give me some more information. I can add an icon here if I want and put some notes on this uh, on my map. If I want to mark a fishing location, if I want to mark a hazard, any other kind of information I want to add in here, I can add. I can also go in here if I have taken pictures or if I have sonar screenshots that I want to add to this, I can go in and select that information, upload it here to the map, and it will save here in the map and, and I can go back in at a later time and click on that and pull that information up, pull that image up. Now the other thing this does is you can go in here, you can see we have a number of areas here where we're showing hazard buoys and little icons showing up on the map. So like here I'm going to go in and I'm going to click on this mark and I'm going to go into more info. This is telling me that there's a danger buoy there and it doesn't have an explanation. Sometimes there'll be a lot more uh, explanation and detail here as to what those are and what's going on. Uh, like this one is a, a user added uh, location that somebody else has put in here um, as as a public waypoint. Uh, whoever Bob Aldert is has gone in and put in a note uh, that there's a stump there. That that that's a good hazard probably when the lake is low or maybe when the lake is at pool. That there's a danger area there. And this specific lake, you can see this is a tree buoy here and a tree buoy here. So there's a lot of hazards here in this area. And uh, you know I can go in and find these other locations here. We'll see as we get over here and zoom in a little bit. You can see where the other users have added this information. We're going to click on this little fish icon here. They have sand bass and hybrids marked. Uh, fishing and diving hotspot, sand bass and hybrid fishing spot regular spot where they school up and uh, somebody has gone in and added that information here on the map and um, you know created that as a uh, as a waypoint that they've shared with other people 
Now, you can choose on this map here in the settings, uh, you can go in here and uh, you can turn this community layer on and off. So if you don't want to see other people's data, then you can go in and turn that off so you don't see other people's information. And you can also choose whether or not you want to make uh, the data that you're adding to the map public to share with others or whether you want to keep that private. And uh, I've gone in here and deleted all my information from these maps uh, and created a new map prior to doing this video just so all my information didn't show up here on this. And uh, you can see in here in the settings as well, you have a ton of other features. Uh, you can go in and change the terrain so you have a Google map overlay of the uh, surrounding areas of the lake. Uh, you can sync this area to your SD card so it shows up on your fish finder. Uh, and there, connect this to Twitter, Facebook. Um, you can calculate routes and cruising speeds. You can go in here and measure distance from one point to another so you know how far apart different things are if you are uh, planning on navigating those areas. And uh, you can see here, let's say I'm planning on uh, traveling from here to here and I want to know how far that is so it's telling me here it's 2.8 miles. Now on a body of water like this and that's not really a big deal but if you're fishing a very large body of water then uh, you know this is certainly a, a helpful feature that will come into play. So I'm going to turn that off here. You can also go in once you've created waypoints and uh, have a lot of data in here and you can go in and search for this information on uh, your map and find different areas and locations that you've stored here. So that's just some of the basic features behind the Navionics PC map. This is an excellent tool to use in conjunction with the Navionics SD card on your uh, sonar fish finder or GPS unit and uh, make sure to go to the website and check out the article on Navionics and specifically how you would want to use this for fishing for catfish because uh, there's some great uses not only just for simple safe navigation of your boat um, but also specifics to how this will help you find and get more catfish in the boat using these maps and helping them using these maps to help you find catfish. So for more information to get more tips, tricks, and information on fishing for catfish, go to learn to catch catfish.com.